Hello good people, it's your girl Erin Atiela and I welcome you so much to this YouTube channel. Your village champion is on the move, on the move. I am right here in a Lebtong district and you guys, so everywhere I'm stepping it's mangoes and this melon. Mm, is it called the scent? Okay, the scent alone is overwhelming. Now, I came to this place in a season for mangoes everywhere down here mangoes are just falling as in and no one is concerned like everyone in their home they have a tree or trees of mangoes mango trees erina don't let your english betray you so everywhere i'm stepping it's basically mangoes but it's only here i think i see someone sat down and ate from here and left they are just falling down and no one is picking them no one is minding why because every one of them has mangoes or mango trees in their home but now as i was looking at these mangoes something came to my mind something came to my mind we have a saying in uganda all these mangoes here you see the yellow ones or what some are rotten but they still look so good let me find one for example this one it really looks so good outside but i'm afraid of opening i don't know i'm afraid of what i'll find inside but the the thing is i wanted to tell you of our saying in uganda that a mango there's a saying in uganda that says which literally translates for a mango being so nice looking and beautiful on the outside does not take away the fact that it could be rotten inside. That is an African saying from Boganda. It's what just came to my mind and I'm like, okay, why not talk it out to my people? You know, this is a platform where you can get to share your wisdom, your knowledge. And if you're foolish, you, see, you share your foolishness. I believe I'm sharing wisdom. So. In, I've told you what it literally translates for in English, but it wants to bring out the same meaning as the English saying or proverb. I don't differentiate between proverbs and saying because a person here. It wants to bring out the same meaning as the English uh, proverb. Not all that glitters is gold. That is what our saying is. Just that in our language it is that you would see it so beautiful outside but when it's rotten inside. So it is the same as not all that glitters is gold. So what is the morale of the story? I want to tell you some things look so beautiful on the outside and they are not really what they are inside. But where I come from, this thing is mainly used on women. They give an example. Every time you tell a person to explain this kind of saying, they will explain it giving a woman as an example. For example, they will say, if you say not all that glitters is gold. So they will say, for example, you find a woman so beautiful, like so endowed, like so, you know that, charming and all those beautiful words for women. And then they're like, but when she is evil. Yeah. When she's evil. That is the example. I swear, even if we asked anyone here, that is the example they would give. But the morale of the thing is no things do not, they are not what English. The outside beauty you see on things could not be what is inside. Some opportunities look so beautiful and juicy, but if you start venturing into them, they are not that. In this life, never be swayed by the outside beauty of something. Never be swayed by the charm in something. Always take time to dig out and find out what is inside. If it's an opportunity, take time to think about it, digest everything before you dive right into it. Okay, even if we are to physically use it on women, if you want to marry, do not be taken by the outside beauty. Yes, it should be one of those things you should look out to. So, if it's for a woman still, look out for beautiful women who are beautiful inside out. We're not saying, okay, do not look at anything to do with beauty, neglect it all. Not at all. Look out for something good inside out. Okay, maybe I can get other people's opinions, 
about this not all that glitters is gold guys there is no better way i can explain that not everything that appears good is really good not all people that really appear good are really good some of you have testimonies of these people that you met and you thought oh this person is good because they really just did appear good and the end experiences are not so good and it's not something you even some of you really want to talk about it is completely wrong to give your whole to something that has just appeared because appearance is not enough some people what they look is not what they really are some people look angels but they are devils i'm telling you so but the end thing at, of it all is never judge a book by its cover you may look at some people and you think they're evil when they're really good people and they're the people you need in your life or you may look at some people and you feel they are so sweet they are so good and when they are going to be the devils in your life the all everything is do not judge by appearance do not judge a book by its cover always take time to learn more about people about something it is a mistake to invest in your whole self into something that just looked sweet i know most of you have testimonies about what i'm saying be it opportunities be it men or women that you call sweet boyfriends and suit all that people but you were so disappointed i hope you got my point i don't know how to explain something so well i hope you got what i was trying to mean not all that glitters is gold okay tell us your experience about this saying or proverb in the comment section below and let's get to share views share experiences because experiences are the wealth we have the best way to learn is learning from other people's experiences get to know that what i've been discussing even some musicians have sung about it i mean in our local language if you're uganda and you know silver chagulani and what he sang he said omoyemba kunyirira kongulu tejigugana kufunda munda era banji babo echivale mio bufumbo tebaina mpisa he referred to this thing i told you and then he said and you can see all of them what has made them fail in marriages is because they are not disciplined as in they are beautiful in appearance but they do not have good character i hope you got my point thank you so much for watching it's your village champion taking a chill and resting right here in a Leptong village and be sure to check out all my other Leptong village vlogs there is a playlist for that and get to enjoy my village life as you also become my village partner thank you for watching see you in the next vlog bye